Hello and welcome. So I am playing Yakuza 0 once again. Uh, I'm on, I think, believe I'm on chapter 5. Yeah. Because I've started chapter 5. And I'm loading. And I'm playing this Kiryu, Kiryu, and he has in different clothes. You see how to get them for a meeting. And I, I believe I want to do this mission here, this, because I've been wanting to record this side mission, or uh, side, or uh, sub story. Um, it's the dominatrix one, which is exciting. <laughs> um, yeah, doms are always, you know, they always get my attention. <laughs> I mean, in regards to BDSM, I consider myself a sub. Uh, that's why I like it, you know? <laughs> um, yeah, is it this way? Yeah, I think I just have to go down. How the far am I about to, do I have to fight these guys? Yeah. Well, anyway. I need some... Some of this. Get up. Come on. There. So earlier I was watching a movie called uh, The Manster. Which I've seen it before, it's been a while. It's it's this uh about this uh American uh reporter, he goes to Japan and and he meets this uh Japanese scientist who has this serum and it uh... it gives a reporter uh, two heads so ends up becoming a monster you know, hence, you know it's more of a hybrid of a, a, a man and monster hybrid hence the name but and it's been a while since I've seen it but it was, you know I enjoyed it um... and it, and it kind of inspired uh... an army of darkness if anyone's seen that or ash um... He swallows the mini ash when he's in the in the windmill, in the windmill, I believe, and then you know it, it grows out of his shoulder. The mini ash, or the you know the evil ash, mini ash character, because yeah, you see the eye and the eyeball in, in his shoulder, and then he gains two heads and they split apart. It, you know, you gotta see how it was inspired by the monster, which is cool. That Sam Raimi, it went back to to. Older movies to, to inspire scenes, and even Evil Dead 2. Um, the, the look of Henrietta was inspired by uh, Jason the Argonauts. You know, the Ray Harryhausen mo uh, stop motion movie. Uh, by the. Uh, that, that character was inspired by the, the, the shields that the skeleton characters have when, when Jason fights them. So that was a. you know. So that's a gr that's an awesome scene, and uh, it's cool to see where he g you know got his inspiration from. And it had been a while since I've seen the monster, um, you know, because nowadays I'm doing I guess what I would call Psychotronic Sunday, where I watch a Psychotronic film, and a late lately spin, um, you know, black and white horror and sci-fi movies. Um, and then I, I had done the Puppet Master movies, uh, I think it was the first, the first nine Puppet Master movies as part of Psychotronic Sunday, cause you, cause I used to do Sunday Night Mayhem where I would, where I would do, you know, watch a horror movie, but, you know, since I've changed around my schedule, now I'm just called Psychotronic Sunday because I watch it in the afternoon, not really at night per se. But I watched a psychotronic film. 
Um, you know, and I used to watch back when Creepy Coffee Movie Time was on, which is, you know, uh, horror hosting, and they would show, you know, stuff like The Manster. Um, I think one was the, Rede Re the Redeemer Son of Satan. Um, which I wouldn't mind seeing that one again. That was kind of a cheesy slasher film. Um, they should the Driller Killer, Night of the Living Dead. Quite a, quite a few of those B-movies, you know. Because the Bay Area horror host scene is still alive and well, even though Creepy Coffee Movie Time is no longer being aired. Um, now, I think now, it, now it's, um, I haven't checked out Miss Misery, but I really want to. I, I should, because I got that, should get the channel that she's on. Because I know she's doing her thing. I really, because I originally started with Mr. Lobo. When he was doing, and then he moved to the East Coast. And then I moved on to Creepy Coffee Movie Time. So I'd seen a couple of episodes of that, well, probably several, like, more like several. And then Seven Gulli, I watch every now and then. I've started watching that again since TCM Underground hasn't been airing this month due to uh, Summer Under the Stars. Um, but yeah, uh, now I'm doing Seven Gulli, I do want to try out Miss Misery, because I know she's had sh her show on for a while. Um, anyway, I should get started on the sub-story. Good talking. Talk to the dominatrix. It's hot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've never seen anybody do s and in public. I, I mean, I guess in San Francisco, you would, you would see it. Mm. But, when I've, when I've been there, I've never seen it in public, so I... Yeah, she does. Um, I guess it depends on the time of day and, and what area I'm in uh, of San Francisco. That's kind of sad. It's interesting how a lot of doms, the reason why they are the way they are is because they were, they were assertive when they were young. Uh, and they're able to make a profession out of that. Or they, a lot of times, will start out as a, you know, they just go to be a psychologist. Uh, which makes sense because a lot of... <laughs> What they said he relates to that, you know, fetishes and all that stuff, and, and why people, uh, <laughs> that's funny, why people, um, are into those, into that stuff. Aww. Kinky lady. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. Well, oh, so that's why she's out because he's in front of the club. That that makes sense. Oh, I didn't know that was a dungeon. Okay. I mean, I don't know what like the BDSM scene is like in Japan. Since so I've never been there, but I guess I have to fight these guys first. Um. I don't want that. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, get some. I don't think these guys would be that tough. Because they're just thugs, but...
Okay, Suga. Or Sugar, is that his name? I don't know. Come on, man. Enough of this tomfoolery. I'm trying to help this lady out, and you guys are beating me up. It doesn't make any sense. Masochist? <laughs> uh. Uh. Yeah, uh, you guys better leave now. Oh. <laughs> Safe word. Oh, man. I like how they integrated that lingo into this. Uh, and then the BDSM jargon into... Uh, into the dialogue. Uh. Sure, I guess. Sure thing, lady. I, I would I would do this in real life. Even though I'm a sub, I'd, I'd give it a shot at least. Okay, I'll do it. Uh. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how, how much help I would be, but... Hey, you. Material. Uh. Sure. Let's go to the park. That makes things easier, I think. Okay. Hey, wait a second. You little bit. Yeah. Oh. Welcome. Sure thing. Hi. Mm. Huh? Yeah. to speak pig I, I think is is one to go with I mean I've never been addressed that way but I agree with that sure thing That's true. Wow, this is just for pretend. Mm. I'll be humiliated. That's always fun, I mean.
That's just so like. Well, you like that, you pervert. Yeah. That's true. You guys on me and me alone? I think it was... Yeah. Sure thing. Are these kids still gonna be watching? That's kind of awkward, but okay. Uh... I mean... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is gonna be interesting, coming to the dungeon. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. thing. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. So why does he see her gun if he, sh if he thinks she's bad? <laughs> I like this music. Huh. 
was fun. For belly warmer. Okay. Cool. Uh. Yeah, I think so too. Sam, okay. Well, I'm gonna go and do. I'm gonna go do this now on S Sup on Street. But I should probably stack up on some supplies. There's, okay, there's a store not too far from here. I'll do that first, I guess. Um. I don't know if I go in here. I don't think so. I don't really want to fight these guys, but I guess I have no choice. Bike. Ah. get something to eat, so I'll do that. I'll have the Negi Chasu Ramen. Sounds good. Mm-hmm. No problem.
Uh, so the other place I want to go. Can I get there from here? Hmm. I could just go, I could go this way and, and some, yeah, not that far off anyway. Oh, well. Look my cone in your face. Oh, I don't want to go to a casino right now. I'm gonna figure out. Okay, yeah. I'll have. I want something else though. Yeah. Okay. So I have to go this way. This way. Because <laughs> <laughs> don't have cack. They don't have a cack either, so they're they're screwed in that regard. You know, they they, they miss out. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna send that. You know, what do they do without cack? I don't know. It doesn't make things any easier for them. That's for sure. Even though he's not real, I mean... Okay, it's Oda. Oh, I totally forgot about that. I don't know where I can get that from. I totally forgot about that. Is there one right here? Can I get it here? I might have to put something away. I totally forgot about that. Hey, how are you? Uh, okay. Well, then I'll have to put some things away in the telephone booth, and then I totally forgot about that. Um. <laughs> oh well. I mean, the good thing is not. A this isn't that far from here. Yeah. 
悔しいからもう一勝負行こうと思ってんだよ I don't know when, when to use those. I should probably t help this guy and re intervene. Yeah, I don't think I've recorded one of these yet, but basically, if there's a person who's crowded around, uh, you know, goons or whatever, you can fight them and then the, the person, the victim, will give you something. Afterwards, which is good. I mean, might as well do it now. I don't have to worry about it later. That shirt's good for something. Uh, I wasn't expecting that, but like I said, I mean, it's. It doesn't hurt to intervene with those. You know? Does she have any of those? Cause I, otherwise, I don't know why I have to. I might have to look this up because I don't know where I have to get the confection box. Maybe I should just do that now. I'm thinking about it. Um, audio is probably cut. Oh. Okay, which convenience store would have it? I have to look this up. I don't know how to do this before, but I totally forgot. Okay. I'm in the right place here. I don't think I am anyway. Because I'm able to just take a taxi over there, you know, if it's, uh... I wonder if I can do that. No, no if not, that's okay. I would prefer to, but... It doesn't look like there's any nearby, so I'll just have to walk, or... You know, run over there. Which is kind of annoying. Uh, you know, because I just looked it up, there's only one store that has those. And it's this. It's right in that corner there. I guess it's not that far, but it's just annoying that there's only one store that has that. I forgot I had to do this, but... But this store looks... The other one, I don't know why they don't have it at the other one that I was just at. Yeah, I'll spend 2,000 yen. 
Whatever. Okay. Anyway, on to... More exciting things that don't involve... Any more fetch quests for a while, hopefully. Um... <laughs> uh, I'm just kind of annoyed about that. What's this guy doing? Hmm. He doesn't seem very enthusiastic about what, he, whatever he's selling. So I have to fight these two guys. Or three guys, yeah. Okay, Marita. Is that like Pat Morita, the guy from the Karate Kid movies? Wax on, wax off, right? <laughs> uh, the, uh, I mean, I don't know where they got the names for these guys from. I mean, I would have guessed a lot of them are common in Japan, though. Okay. At least I can do this now. Okay. Forget what I'm doing here. <laughs> uh, yep, he sure is. Sure thing, let's go up there. お手並み拝見と行こうか。まあ、見てな。この部屋らしいな。すみません。辻さんいます。山野井さんの代理店参りました。立花不動産のもんですがね。うん。立花不動産。だ。あとこれ。つまらないものですけど。おい、勝手に何すんだ。That's kind of intrusive. Pretty messy guy too. It pauses the video. He looks like a Genesis. Yeah. Or something. こんなにゴミだらけじゃ立ち抜くの大変じゃないですか立ち抜くなんだよそれ俺は立ち抜く気なんかねえぞそう言ってもねこのビルはもう山野井さんが新しいオーナーになったわけだからそれをあんたがい
新しいオーナーさんとしてはさっさとこんなボロビル転売して人儲けしたいわけですそんなもんそっちの都合だろお前ら下っ端じゃ話になんねそのオーナー連れてこいやあだったら<笑>そっちもさっさと He doesn't even look like a Yakuza you know? どうですね But I, I guess he could still work for him. Yeah. だから。そんなサルシバイはいらねえってんだよ。部屋に座るだけが脳の陳皮だが、でけえ口叩くな。なんだと。あんたごときにオーナーは出てこねえよ。バックのヤクザに伝えとけ。お前らの交渉相手は
Yeah. You burn upon yourself. Burn upon yourself. Oh. That guy. I'm mean, gonna I guess. If that's what you think. Kamurushonia もっとも俺らが彼の一つを追ってりゃいずれ勝ち合う相手だ。いい挨拶代わりになったんじゃないの？千遊やらつしさんよ。まだその辺に居座るつもりなら、さっきの話の続きするかい？いや、その。あんたの後ろ盾は見ての通りだよ、辻さん。それでもまだ一人で頑張る気。いえ、めっそうもない。あ、そう。それじゃ今夜中にあ
to go. Oh. I think I'm done recording for now. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, Yakuza 0 gameplay. And I'll probably record again another uh, week or two. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.